How does it come into the real world? How does it matter on election day? So I'm going to go to the far end of the panel first and work backwards. So uh, for the, the south of the border perspective, the man I introduced last, I'll, I'll let go first. Um, tell us about uh, where, where is digital real and what are you doing differently uh, south of the border? Cool. Well, I appreciate everybody being here. It's my third year here at the Manning Conference, and I love coming up here. It's a wonderful conference, and it's, <laughs> and it's great to see a lot of young folks. Uh, I feel like there's really a lot of young folks here this year. So I wrote a little bit to uh, start here. So in 1997, uh, a man named Michael Goldhaber uh, wrote an article called The Attention Economy and the Net. And in that article, which I recommend that you all read, Goldhaber talks about how attention is today's scarcest resource. And as marketers here, as people in politics, attention is something that we strive every day to gain and to capture, whether it is gaining email addresses, whether it's building a database on a system like Nation Builder, or whether it's ultimately to win votes and to win elections. But it's hard to do in today's day and age. Uh, an average person on Facebook has 350 friends. They like over 70 pages, and each one of those friends and each one of those pages is competing for our attention in this room. Attention is dispersed from app to app, from Twitter to Facebook to Tumblr to Reddit, the number seven most popular site here in Canada, I'm surprised at that, to Instagram, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's dispersed from family to hockey to our jobs to someone's favorite television show. So what can we as conservatives do to actually get someone's attention? Um, I think what we need to do is use tools that get smack in front of voters. Today, I would say the number one tool for that is, is live streaming video, Facebook Live. So get out your phones, live stream, or buy a camera. There's a really cool camera called the Mevo camera that we use at our company, which can even bring more professional to live streams. The internet is the most trusted source of information when people search about our candidates and our party. So what are you doing in your writings to tell our side of the truth? And remember, Facebook content is not always searchable online. So your content that you're putting on Facebook, you also need to put it on blogs and on Twitter and on your website, even if you're live streaming. Your opinion matters. When, when I was 14 years old, I started a blog, TooConservative.com, which led me into the career that I'm in now. And I think looking at all of you out there, you all have opinions. You're at this conference. Are you sharing them? Are you sharing your opinions on Twitter and on blogs? You can create petitions on change.org to push your cause or your issue. You can blend the digital and physical worlds by highlighting young volunteers, taking a page from President Obama, who actually set up a wonderful Tumblr that if you all look at it, it was called Letters to the White House. And he actually photocopied letters that were sent into the White House um, on this Tumblr page and presented the physical world again in a digital means. When was the last time you proactively searched for a conversation already going on in your writing? Because there's already people in your writings and in your provinces talking about transportation issues, talking about tax issues. When was the last time you proactively went out there and sought to connect with those people and not just waited for them to find you? That's what I would ask you today. You don't need high paid consultants or Pixar Studios or Hollywood level production quality videos, most shared and high reach types of content on my client's large Facebook pages are live videos that actually where we printed out pieces of paper and turned over the pieces of paper one by one in long Facebook videos. Because 85 plus percent of Facebook videos are watched without the sound on, 85 plus percent. Even right now, the people watching this, most of them have their sound off, All right? Hello, turn on your <laughs> So how do we as conservatives get someone's attention? Sharing cartoons, sharing listicles, five reasons why Justin Trudeau's immigration plan is wrong for Canada. Those are some of the best pieces of content on our Facebook pages. So I would, I would just end by saying that you all in this audience can create this content. 
Don't wait for the new leader of the party to do it for you and expect him or her to have all the answers. Don't wait for consultants to do it for you. And that the beauty of digital is that everyone in this room is a content creator, that everyone in this room can generate uh, videos and blogs and policy pieces that can impact elections. So please share your opinions and share them often online and in all those different mediums, and that's going to be helpful. So that's how I start. Perfect. Exactly on time, too. That's